As children of the 90s, we all grew up with great sci-fi movies. I know personally I'm still waiting for my magic floating hoverboard from Back to the Future. Well, computer science programs are giving us the opportunity to create some of the technology we've seen in our favorite movies today. However, demographically, the computer science programs that, pre um, that exist in our society today are not equal. And this has brought many politicians to ask the question, how can we get more minorities into our computer science programs? And this question can be answered in three main ways. First, by providing more financial aid to these programs so they can increase the quality of their work. Next, by sparking interest in these programs at a younger age. And finally, by making the career choice of a computer science major a more lucrative option for minorities within our society today. Now, Obama has currently created a plan in order to cre cre increase the financial aid within the computer science programs in the United States today. He looks at uh, the programs as no longer an elective, but a necessity if the United States is, a, uh, is looking to move on within the computer science technology programs. Huffington Post reported on this four days ago, stating that Obama inc included nearly $4 billion within his new grant in order to, cre in order to give grants and uh, scholarships to children within uh, these programs so they can increase the quality of their technology currently being used within these programs so that the computer science, um, the computer science electives can grow and use technology that is the most up-to-date thing on the market possible. Reuters also did an interview on this on January 30th, 2016, stating that computer science programs will no longer be optional in future education programs. They are a necessity for children looking to achieve white collar jobs within our, society, within our future society. Now, although grants are a very democratic way to look at the situation, it's important to understand the necessity of increasing cash flow within these programs if they are to um, keep up with the technology and the computer sciences currently being revolutionized within our society today. It will give the education the necessary tools it needs to grow to produce the kids technologically advanced enough to create the ideas and information we need for the future. However, these rich new quality programs will do nothing if we do not increase the interest of kids working in these programs at a younger age. All kids love computers nowadays. They love playing iPad on their iPad playing Angry Birds, but very few of them actually care how the information works. Well, computersaveonline.gov stated on July 8th, 2016, that the general population views STEM programs as too hard and something that just cannot be accomplished because they're not taught the information that goes along with these programs at a younger age. They're jumping into these programs at a college level when in reality they've never been given the primary courses that would allow them to grow into the students, um, the students that would be properly equipped to take these classes. Whitehouse.gov backs this up on January 30th, 2016, stating that nearly nine-tenths of parents agree that they would love to have their children in a computer science program. However, most schools around America do not offer computer science programs, um, so the kids cannot get the necessary resources at a primary level needed to take and achieve in the AP computer science classes currently offered in our society today. However, if children are expected to, to pursue their interest, in, uh, uh, their interest within the computer science program, they need to be shown that a, compu a computer science degree is a lucrative career choice. This would, um, it is undisputable that the computer science programs have gone through a revolution in the last 10 years. However, analysts would also agree that minorities have been left behind. Huffington Post reports on January 30th, 2016, that part of the Obama grant would go to make scholarships for kids who are not 
as economic, economically blessed as others to get them into technology programs that would allow them to achieve the jobs they so desperately want in their society today. This would give kids from a lower socioeconomic class a chance to prove themselves and, re um, and really experience the great American opportunity we see in our society today. Washington Post also reports that on, on February 1st, 2016, that Microsoft would like to work with Obama to talk about the future of their company and how they can incorporate minorities within to the, within to the ideals of the uh, corporation so that they can put on a better face for the media today and give these kids an opportunity to grow into the future of America. Minorities will be a huge part of the American wor um, workforce in the future as they as the number increases every day, so it's important to incorporate them within to our technology programs as well. So as politicians begin to ask the question, how can the U.S. Um, get more minority students into computer science programs? This question can be answered in three main ways. First, by providing proper financial aid to these programs so they can grow in quality and quantity by sparking interest in children at a younger age so that the AP classes become more attainable, and finally, by making an AP computer science uh, degree a more lucrative career choice so that they understand the importance and the um, quality of the job that can be offered to them in the future. As the US looks to gain in technology and computer science programs, um, and one day accomplish the great sci-fi technology uh, shown to us within our favorite uh, films like Back to the Future, it must understand the importance of taking the minorities along with them. Thank you.